Welcome back, my friends. Mark the Movie Man here, Final Cut. Thanks for joining us. Before we get started, a couple of things. Check out the DNC podcast this Wednesday uh, coming up. They're going to be posting a show where they're talking to one of the main actors from the Wisconsin horror film Dead Weight, and they have given me, uh, uh, kindly invited me to join them in the discussion. So it should be a lot of fun. Get to talk to an actor and uh, get his views on films in general, and who knows what's going to show up. Now, again, it is for for mature audiences, so not for the innocent at ears. Also, check it out. I'm on Spreecast now. I'm doing a couple of live shows. I've got one uh, today, the, the day that this is being posted. It does get archived for the curious. Go to Spreecast.com and check out the first take. Yes, that's what the show is called. I'm going to be on there later today. Uh, otherwise, uh, obviously, if you're watching it other than Saturday, uh, you can catch it on the archive. I'll put the link down below as well for the episode. Should be a lot of fun. Catch me live. He can talk to me person to person, tell me uh, if I'm off on movies or whatnot, or just check it out. It should be a lot of fun, okay? So Spreecast.com, check us out there, as well as DNC Podcast. Now, on to today's show, which is Prometheus. Folks, this is a fun sci-fi film. Fun, dark, deep. Uh, it does bring up almost more questions than it does answer. It's not a full prequel to the Alien film directly, yet it's set in the same universe, happens before the events of Alien, and things in here, uh, production design and elements are from the Alien universe, okay? Uh, and I love the look of the film. Okay, first off, 3D. They're getting better with 3D, and anyone who is anyone who does sci-fi from here on out needs to do their film in 3D. I am not wholly so that everything needs to be 3D, but after seeing what Ridley Scott does with these space scenes with 3D, 3D, uh, freaking beautiful visuals in this film, okay? Some great wides, uses the full screen, depth in the space, it just, it looked beautiful, and it actually popped into my head at one point going, wow, I wonder if they could do aliens with a proper 3D look, that might be very cool, and I never thought I'd have that thought before, but after seeing the visual space shots in this, uh, with the 3D, definitely uh, is starting to change my mind with 3D, but not completely yet. Now, we also have a, some great performance, uh, R Nomi Rapace, as I said before, you also got Michael Fassbender in here, playing that pivotal character that's in every Aliens film, and you'll know which character I'm talking about, okay? He plays David, okay? You also have Charisse Theron in here, toning it completely down from her uh, Snow White and a Huntsman role, and here she's playing the cool, calm, and collective Meredith Vickers. Very well and looking really good in that skin tight jumpsuit. Now, uh, you also got uh, Idris Elba as the captain of the ship, loved his character, and Guy Pierce makes an appearance as well. Folks, this has so many good things going for it, okay? Now, it doesn't, like I said, answer a whole bunch of questions about the Alien universe, okay? But it is a well-paced film. Ridley Scott can sometimes get parts in there that really slow down in a film, but not in this case, okay? I mean, uh, he just puts together a well-paced movie that doesn't really get slow in too many spots. Now, it's not completely action-packed explosions either, but you do have the characters doing something constantly that's moving the plot along, and you're discovering things. You're not getting all the answers at once, what I loved as well. You get a lot of those questions like, why is this happening? What is going on? Which is great as well. It keeps you guessing, and not fully predictable, though somewhat predictable due to some of the trailers we've seen, okay? Uh, so I like that about it, and the fact that it's just sci-fi, the production design, the environments that they put them in are alien, okay? The ships they're in are alien, which was great to see, okay? Uh, we don't get a huge amount of sci-fi, which you would think with the Millennium, we do it. Now, I'm not counting comic books as sci-fi, okay? I'm talking drew sci-fi here, so it always is refreshing to see a film like this, and done properly as well, given the proper treatment, okay? It is two plus hours and change, and you need that to properly tell the story that it does. Now, uh, some things that were lacking in it, uh, not too much. The dialogue maybe was a little bit weak at times, uh, but nothing too outrageous, you know, too over the top or too bad like we may have seen in Cowboys and Aliens. So dialogue kept, you know, kept the movie right along. You could follow what's going on. And the sound design in this film is phenomenal, okay? Great soundtrack and score, okay? Definitely, they even got an ode in there to Jerry Goldsmith's original Aliens theme. See if you could pick it out. But I highly recommend this film to go see in a theater. It's meant to be seen in the big screen 
in 3D with the full surround sound because it just hits all your senses and it encompasses you into this world of Prometheus. Four stubs for me on Prometheus. Truly enjoyed this film, highly recommend it. And I think after you watch it, you may have some more questions and answers about the Alien universe, but hey, that's what a good film is all about. Should keep discussions going amongst you and your friends well after you watch this film. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep the tickets up. Thank you.